Right now we are in downtown Vienna and we're about ready to hop on a, I guess a city tram and ride down to Tolsman Tochman. Which is an Austrian clothing store. I think one of the things we were looking for the most was seeing some in Vienna. And just kind of see what their culture is like. Oh, push. <laughs> Uh, we're just looking for some like traditional outfits. I might try something like that. You never know. Yes. So. <laughs> My good Maria will help you in the men's store. Okay. Can you come with me to the oh, men's okay. store? Okay. I'll see I don't know what size. Uh, I think 48. Okay, 48. Size, style. Does he? Does he have that? <laughs> style. What's that? <laughs> What buttons do I do? You close the button here, and the last one you let open. So okay, so all of them, that's the last one. He is more adventurous, I guess, in, in a sense. He's, he loves trying things new. So when it comes to style, he'll go above and beyond, especially what I'll do. Mm -hmm. probably Jen, too. Alles perfect. Looks good. Yeah, looks good. So uh, I we guess... We in you Austria know. say you are a fashion fool. Fischer Pua. A Fischer Pua. Arnold Schwarzenegger said the same. Does that mean uh, really, really nice good? Boy. Oh, really nice boy. Oh, really nice boy. <laughs> really nice boy. Yeah. Well, I want to go meet my really uh, nice girl. Now. Yes, yes. <laughs> I think you need 32. What is 32? Length no, or what? Size. The whole oh, size. OK. You think you need 34? I don't know. I had seen pictures of the Austrian clothing, so I knew they weren't that modest. Do you have any dresses with a higher neckline? I only, we only have this, this model. So I made sure I brought like something I could go under the um, the dress, and I was so grateful I did because their modesty standards are not the same as mine. When it comes to modesty standards, we try to generally keep covered from about the neck to the knees, and it doesn't matter what activities or costumes or whatever we're wearing, we just try to keep that in mind as a general rule. Well, this is not good. You have to. I have to. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I have to be modest. We've always thought whatever is wholesome. So if you're in a foreign country and you find an outfit that's kind of traditional, you might have to make a few adjustments here and there to be able to wear it. But I think it's kind of cool to kind of um, be a part of that culture for a time. Drento? Is it called a Drento? How, how do you pronounce it? Dindo. Dindo? Dindo. This is a Dindo. Yes. What is a dirndl? Maybe some kind of instrument? What? Dirndl. Dirndl. A dirndl? A dirndl. It kind of sounds like what a, a really redneck person would say if they stubbed their toe really hard. brings back memories. For our wedding, we did a first look, and we thought that we'd do another first look, see each other in our traditional Austrian clothes. Thanks, sweetheart. Hey. You look so wow. cute. You look good. <laughs> so cute with your hat. <laughs> a little, I don't know what it is. I pull it down, it yeah. looks like Barney. <laughs> what did you think when you saw Josiah in his outfit? As they say in German, Saya looked Fish. What does that mean? <laughs> it means, I think, hot in their language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go take some pictures, honey. Let's go. You look too cute. Oh, you look cute. <laughs> I wish I remember the German word to describe mm, for her dress, because that's what it is. Whatever that word is. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. <laughs> <laughs>